Welcome to EMDR with Alice. So today we're going to talk about the importance of prepping clients for EMDR using the AIP language. So we're going to break that down and talk about the importance of using AIP language in every session with a client and throughout every session with a client as part of your prep work. So to start off, when we have a client that we're working with that you think is uh, appropriate for EMDR therapy, the process of beginning to explain EMDR therapy should begin with psychoeducation on trauma. So you want to start by just explaining to the client how trauma works in our brains and in our nervous system. You can use language around and explain to them the trauma symptoms that come up after trauma that's really common for everyone. Talk about the trauma responses that is universal to all human beings. Those fight, flight, freeze, collapse, submit, fawn, all of those as trauma responses. Explain to them how those are appropriate and useful and essential for them when they're experiencing something that is traumatic or, or, or highly distressing and disturbing to them. And then once you've talked about that, then you can talk about after trauma, after a trauma event has happened or a distressing event has happened, how that uh, the brain organically can process that through dream sleep, through sleep, through talking, uh, and sometimes how it can get stored or, or stuck in that processing. And then uh, symptoms can persist past the kind of six weeks that it typically takes people to process a trauma event. So once you've gone over that psychoeducation with a client, then you can talk about how do we know if something's not been processed and it seems to be stuck uh, in the brain, in that hippocampus area where it's in, um, it's stored in a dysfunctional way in that maladaptive network. And the way we talk about those symptoms is helping them talk through and understand um, the somatic symptoms that can come up uh, or be triggered. We can talk about flashbacks, intrusive memories and dreams, the emotions of anger or avoidance that can come out and, and be prolonged. Once you've talked through that and then you work with the client to identify uh, which of those symptoms seem to be present for them in their current life, then you can begin introducing the concept of how things that are happening in their present life, those symptoms are actually responses or triggers from the past. That's where you're introducing the AIP language of how the past is showing up in the present. Using their own story, using their own symptoms. Once we've done that, then we begin introducing EMDR. And you can talk about there's this form of therapy that we use that, that works with the present moment and the symptoms as they present in the present moment to help the brain organically resolve the material that's stored in the brain in that maladaptive way. And it seems to be able to move into an adaptive uh, response after the EMDR processing. Then throughout all of your sessions in your prep phases, anytime you're checking in with clients or, or they're talking about a crisis of the week or something that's happened in the past week that feels distressing or disturbing to them, you can begin being curious with them about is there any way that's, again, the past showing up in the present or triggering of past events, past emotions, past body sensations, past responses that could be coming up and showing itself in their present life. And as you're using that and being curious about that, using that AIP language in every session, through every session, then by the time you're, you're ready for reprocessing, the client gets it. The client understands what's happening when they're being triggered, how the past is actually showing up in the present, where the past is actually showing up in the present, and they're more bought in to getting to those earlier memories because you've done all of that good work of using that AIP language in every single session. And they understand the purpose of getting to those earlier memories, processing those earlier memories, and how the past can show up in our present moment. So we can use that even in reprocessing when triggering takes place in the session. 
So today we're focusing again on using that AIP language as a big part of your prep work, prepping clients for EMDR therapy, helping the client begin to understand that AIP language and how the past is being triggered in the present. And we don't just explain it one time, right? We talk through it several, multiple times in every session, throughout every session, Anytime a client brings an example of something that's happened in the past week or that's even happening in the session, we can pause and be curious about how is this the past showing up right now. Thank you for your time today. I hope this is helpful.